Greetings everybody, John Tar here, and this is my channel Wiki Game Guides. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to find all 13 skulls in Halo 5. You can pick them up on any difficulty, except for Mission 3, which I will point out later, so play on easy. And as soon as you get the skull, you can quit and it's saved. There are two achievements achievements for finding all the skulls. Gravelord for 40 gamer score when you find every skull, and Gravedigger for 10 points when you find the first skull. And please give this video a like if it helps you out. Your likes help me out immensely in return. So let's get to the skull locations. The I would have been your daddy skull. On the first mission, Osiris, this one's pretty easy. This is, well, the easiest skull to find by far. <laughs> um, so in this opening area, you're gonna end up getting to this kind of forerunner structure here. Uh, and before running inside, you are gonna jump up here and on this cliff over here, will be the skull way out on this edge here. Just walk up to it and hit X. So remember, this is the opening area of the first part of the game. Second skull, blue team, the black eye skull. So after you're forced to uh, shoulder charge through that little piece of uh, metal there, you're gonna have to jump down into this area with a bunch of elites and jackals and stuff like that. Eliminate the covenant forces and get to those controls. Make your way over to the left jump up on this thing here and then jump up on this pipe up on the left as well you don't have to go right for this one you can clear out all the enemies if you are playing on a harder difficulty but uh this is the easiest way i found to do it so this is a very dark corner but what you're supposed to do is jump and then ground pound down to a uh a vent that you can break from above and then you fall in this area, and there's the skull, and then you might feel like you're stuck, but this door actually opens for you to get out. Third skull. Third skull, mission three, glassed. This one you have to do on legendary difficulty. So this is uh, one of the tri this is the trickiest one to get in the game. Um, <clears throat> you don't have to do it exactly the way that I'm doing it. You do have to do it on legendary, at least with my testing so far. So this is just the opening area of the mission. Um, after you uh, get that gate down and before you get in the vehicles to speed away, grab that Spartan laser. That will make your life a lot easier later on. And save it and just speed past all the enemies that you can. And just... It, th this one's tough to do, but just drive past all the enemies and skip everybody that you possibly can. Eventually you're going to get to this point where you can get this scorpion tank. You don't have to break through the ceiling to get it. You can kill all the enemies, but because I'm trying to save the Spartan laser and do it as fast as I can, I just uh, jump through the ceiling. Now, get the scorpion tank just as a backup. If it ends up, if you don't get the Spartan laser, you're going to need the scorpion tank for this part here. You're going to drive through these arches. I'm going to see some enemies spawning there. <clears throat> now, here is where it gets really interesting. Um, so, you drive under those arches, and now we're at, like, the final battle spot of the whole mission. Um, drive, or run forward just a little bit, and off in the distance over here, you're going to see a Spartan ship getting chased by another ship. You have to kill that ship. And sometimes it'll go down with one Spartan laser shot, sometimes it'll go down with two. Uh, you can also hit it with a tank, but the tank shots take a couple seconds to actually go off or to actually catch up to the target. So I found it much easier to hit that ship with a Spartan laser. So then after you take out that ship, the skull is going to be in one of three places. <laughs> there's, there's a couple of skulls that can be in multiple places in this game or yeah, throughout this game. And this is one of the tricky ones. So after you kill this ship, the skull can either be there and kill the skull or and then if you revert if it's not there and uh you end up dying or something like that the skulls do not disappear after you pick them up uh so you can just revert to checkpoint and do it again um the second place that the skull can be is back where you jump through the roof to get the um to get the scorpion tank and jump back on the roof and kind of in this corner over here. Now the third spot you can get the skull is kind of far away, and if you've been skipping all the enemies like I have, it's a pain in the ass to get to on legendary difficulty. So if the skull is not in one of those first two places, I would recommend just reverting to the checkpoint and starting over again. Mission five, unconfirmed, the blind skull. So after the little sniper alley section, kind of deep into the mission, you're gonna go inside this little bunker here. Do not go down the stairs. Jump up here, jump up into the grating up here, and just hold the jump button to kind of grapple up there. And then crouch walk back into this corner. And 
There is the skull. One of the easiest ones in the game. Blind skull. The evacuation. Thunderstorm skull. So this one's... This one's pretty fun. Uh, there are five road cones, VLC logo cones, that you have to destroy pretty quickly at the beginning of the mission. And then at the very end of the mission, the skull will be right along the main path. So what I like to do is grab this gun goose here. And every, uh, <clears throat> every cone that you shoot will set off a little kind of grunt birthday party celebration. Uh, so that's the first one there. The second cone. So the first four cones will always be there. The, the last cone, the fifth cone, will not be there if you take too long. It's about a two minute window. And uh, if the last cone isn't there, then you just have to restart the whole mission. And again, you can do it on easy difficulty, so it should be pretty fast. Um, here's the second cone. And I just got hijacked. I did not mean to get off my gun goose there. Third cone up here. After you cross this broken bridge. Right there. The fourth cone is going to be past this giant vehicle that's in the middle that you can't actually drive. I wish you could. Those things are look like they'd be fun to drive. Right there, right next to that yellow like propane tank. And the fifth and final cone is up here. I would highly recommend kind of like studying this route and doing a test run. Um, I just shoot it as quickly as I can, but it is right there. It's by that spaceship. And that is the fifth and final cone. Just make your way to the end of the mission. Just keep plowing through, skip all the enemies that you want. And then eventually you're gonna make your way to the top of these stairs. You're gonna see that big landing pad uh, writing on the wall there. After you get outside and you see the giant Promethean thing off in the distance, you're gonna have a kind of have a little weird cutscene right there, where it kind of knocks you on your ass. You're gonna get knocked on your ass the second time, and then the skull is kind of buried in the catwalk, right there. And thunderstorm skull, congratulations! <laughs> skull number seven, the reunion, grunt birthday party skulls. There's actually two skulls on this mission. Uh, so from the very beginning of the level, uh, the, or the, this one's a very early skull. Um, you're going to kind of come across this uh, crashed uh, ship with a bunch of elites and grunts down below. This kind of covenant dropship. Um, and then it's above and behind this ship. So jump up on top of it. Run behind. And you're going to see a little grunt talking to himself or singing to himself and playing with the skull that you want. You have to punt him off the level. <laughs> I wish you could do that more than just that one specific time because that was actually really satisfying. Punting a grunt. Grunt punt. This is the second skull on the level reunion. This is the cloud skull here. So after this kind of flying section, now I actually can get through this whole section without using the Promethean ship there. Uh, but you know, anyway, if you don't, it might be a little bit harder to find where you're going. It's about, you're supposed to take that jump pad and go through this little door right here. This is towards the end of the mission. Um, you're gonna come out to this big battlefield looking area. You're gonna see the big Promethean structure way towards the end. And then, don't run straight forward, instead go to the right. And up this little hill. The skull is sitting wide out in the open. Just waiting for you. Mission number eight, the mythic skull. Uh, so a little bit into the mission, you'll come across this hornet's nest checkpoint. Um, and you're gonna see a bunch of like crazy space battles going on outside. And where I just shot right there is where the skull actually is. And this one takes a little bit of tricky platforming to get to. It took me a couple tries to get, uh, to make this jump. Hopefully you guys can make it. Um, <clears throat> you're going to sprint. like Okay, so from this little platform right here, you have to sprint, jump, boost, and then hold jump to grapple up onto this little, like, the closest ledge. And I missed the first time. I came very close. Uh, but, you like, it, it'll, it'll take you a couple tries. So, again, sprint, jump, boost instantly, 
and then grapple to make the jump. There you go. Skull's just chilling. That was a trick. That was a very tricky jump to do. I, I'm curious to know how many times it takes you guys to get that one done. The catch skull. So when you eventually have to go in this giant crack in here, do not destroy the core, because the skull is inside the crack. So fly into the kraken. Again, easy difficulty, so you can just ignore these guys. Um, and inside the Kraken, you're going to look for where there's a couple banshees uh, just hanging out. Waiting for you to steal for, for a quick escape after you destroy the core. This, these Covenant ships are so like symmetrical and circlical. Circlical? Cic cyclical? Circular? Circular, Jesus. Uh, so look for the Banshees, get in the Banshee on the left and make a hard left, and then go up on this little platform right here. I was not able to jump up here, you have to use the Banshee. And then in that little corner is the Skull. Cowbell Skull. So after you run across this highway that uh, is kind of falling apart, later in the mission, very late in the mission I should say, you're gonna come across, oh and yeah, th this is like way after destroying all the um, anti-air turrets. Um, you're gonna come into hopefully this area that you can recognize. Uh, you're still following the Arbiter around. And straight ahead you're gonna see the big flying enemy way off in the distance. And then you'll notice that kind of like those curly pieces of rebar, I guess, is the best way to describe it. And behind it is a little hidden spot that you can jump down on. A little I-beam. And then kind of half buried somewhere in the cement down here is the skull. This is a harder one to see. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, there she is. I don't like how some of them are buried in the ground. It makes it even harder to find. The Tilt Skull from Mission 13. So you'll most likely steal this scorpion tank here and then just keep uh, killing everything along the way. And eventually you'll get to this bridge um, that is most likely out. After the bridge comes back up, uh, the skull is kind of on the right. So you can kill, um, well, Zuber Witness is still talking to you. Go up here on the right. And this one takes a little bit of, nah, not too tricky platforming. Just look for that, uh, that little silver barricade thing there. You're gonna jump up here. And then go to this corner, jump and grapple up. And then the skull is sitting right there in the corner. Mission 14, the Famine Skull. So, towards the very end of the mission, very, very end of the mission, uh, you're gonna come up to this Warden Eternal fight. And uh, you're gonna notice those two, it's like kind of the symmetrical arena looking thing, and those two uh, energy shields that are just kind of sitting right there in the middle, and behind that wall is this very easy to find skull. In the 15th, final skull of the game. Tough luck skull. You're gonna to come to this area where you have to destroy all these different power cores. If you press down on the D-pad, you're gonna use the tracking system. And you're gonna look for, uh, I believe it's the gamma? Yes, the gamma core. The final skull is above the gamma core and you can also get a pretty easy achievement here uh, after getting the skull for ground pounding one of the cores. So where you see that pelican smashed into the rocks, it's just on the other side of that pelican. So kind of grapple up here, jump, or sprint and run, jump over the pelican. You have to grapple on top of it. So jump, pull yourself up. That jump may take a couple tries. It's kind of awkward. And then jump down. And there's the final skull of the game. 
Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope it helped you out. Uh, again, if this video did help you out, please give it a like. It helps me out a lot in return. And uh, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more Halo 5 updates. Like how to get achievements. Like that one right there. <laughs> a bonus achievement guide right there. Ground pound that right there. And it says you're supposed to do it on heroic difficulty, but I am definitely on easy. I don't, so I don't know if that achievement's glitched or whatnot, but anyway. Get that achievement while you're there. Game on.